you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Hello, it's Mr. T. So hopefully by now you've tried our second two problems in the assignment. And let's go through those solutions. So problem 5A is shown here. Now both of these problems, the difference between the first two problems are that we have what are called repeated factors. So we have factors that have an exponent other than one. And from the tutorial video, you should know that when we split this up into the partial fractions, we need a fraction for each of the powers of the uh, repeated for fraction, I mean repeated factor. So in this case I need an a and an x minus 1 squared as well as b over x minus 1. After that set up the procedure is going to be similar to what we did before so we'll multiply by our common denominator. So here those cancel out. Here both cancel out so we just have a and here one of the x minus ones cancel out. So if we pick x equals 1, that will get rid of the b. So if we put in, we've got 4 minus 3 is 1 equals a, and that's 0. So we've got a. And now to find b, we need to pick some other value of x as well as substituting in the value we just found for a. So I'm going to pick x equals 0, so we get 4 here. We're putting 1 in for the a. And if I put 0 in for the x here, I've got negative b. So I subtract the 1, I've got 3 equals negative b, or b equals negative 3. So now, again, I'm going to pull the, when I do the integration step here, I'm going to pull these constants out to the front. And on this one, I've got a u to the nth power. I need to bring that to the top. So I'm going to do a couple things when I rewrite this. So when I put the a in, it was 1, so that's out front. And I'm moving the x minus 1 squared to the top. When you move something from the bottom of a fraction to the top, remember we change the sign of the exponent. And for our second fraction here we have negative 3, the integral of 1 over x minus 1. So in this one we have a u to the nth. u is x minus 1, so u prime is 1, so we don't need to adjust our constants. So remember we add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. And then here we'll use our Lin rule again that we used in the last video. And we can't combine here because they're not both Lin's, but we can uh, get rid of our negative exponent here. So that is our answer here for 5a. So let's move to problem 5b. So on this one we do need to factor. So we can do GCF factoring on the bottom. So we have two factors, but this one's a repeated factor. So we're going to end up with three terms when we do the partial fraction uh, decomposition. So we need a term over the x squared. And since that's a repeated factor, we need a b over x to the first. And then we also now have this third factor. So we're going to multiply across by this. I'm not going to write that here, so it'll cancel out in this term. When I multiply here, the x squared will cancel out, so I'm left with a times x plus 1. And here, one of the x's will cancel out, so we're left with b times x times x plus 1. 
and for the C, the X plus 1 cancels out, so we're left with that. So we can pick X equals 0. That'll make both of those factors cancel out because we've got a 0 here and a 0. So let's pick X equals 0. So 0 there makes that 0, 0. So we get negative 1 equals 0 plus 1, so A. And again, that's canceling out, and that's canceling out because of the 0. So we've got A. Let's pick negative 1. That'll cause both of those terms to cancel out. So I've got 4 times negative 1 squared is 4. 2 times negative 1 minus 1. Here the negative 1 makes that A disappear. Negative 1 makes the B disappear. And now we have negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. So we get here C equals 1. And now for our last one, we pick a convenient value of X. Let's pick 1. And we're also going to substitute in the values for A and C that we just found. So now we have 4 plus 2 minus 1. I'm putting A as 1. So let's just show all the steps. I mean, sorry, A is negative 1. And the X is 1. So we have 1 plus 1 is 2. B, we're, we don't know yet. And then X is 1. And then 1 there. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And then for the C, C is 1. And X squared is 1. So now here we have 5 equals negative 2 plus 2b plus 1. So this is negative 1. We add it over, so we get 6 equals 2b, or b equals 3. So we've got our numbers for our a, c, and b. So now we can go to the integration phase. Now this is going to be a u to the nth. I want to move that up. And the a I'm going to bring out front so that I get negative 1, the integral of x to the minus 2 dx. And then for the b, so b was 3. My C is 1, so we just have here so again here we use our power rule subtract 1, I mean add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent and now our Lin rule and again the Lin rule plus C Negative and negative makes positive here, so we have 1 over x. And here this 3 can come in on here, so I'm going to have ln of x cubed. And then remember on our ln properties, when we have a plus, we can combine those to using multiplication of the two terms. Whoops, that is not A equals there. So I have the ln of x cubed times x plus 1 plus c, and that's our final answer. So hopefully you were able to handle this transition to having the repeated uh, fractions and good luck and there will be another worksheet coming with some more problems so good luck are you ready are you ready oh oh